with the efforts to bring back the tourism industry to normalcy gaining momentum every day the government has been on a continuous road to recovery for the sector with a number of initiatives put in place key among them includes the expansion of malindi airport to not just improve efficiency but to boost tourism in Kilifi County. Transport Principal Secretary Irungu Nyakero says the National Land Commission is on ground in a land valuing exercise that will see the government spend 400 million shillings to compensate those affected by the project after land acquisition. The question of landowners has been a critical, uh, one of our, our, our biggest challenges. But uh, as, as of now, we've, we, we already uh, in conversation with, uh, with the National Land Commission and uh, we, we've sent them uh, various correspondences and we do hope that within the next uh, few weeks at the most they should be able to give us a position. Phase two of the project which will cost two billion shillings will involve the expansion of the runway from 1.4 kilometers to 2.5 kilometers. The refurbished runway is expected to accommodate bigger aircraft as well as facilitate direct international flights. Currently, the Kenya Airports Authority is also expanding the apron at Malindi Airport to enable parking of larger aircrafts. The expansion of the apron, fencing and car park is 48% complete and is expected to be complete by December this year. Other long-term projections in the four-year expansion plan will include acquiring of security screening machines, generators and water tanks.